YouTube kick. I just want to have this quick discussion. So the the belief that alcohol harms more. Uh, okay, but that that should never be an excuse to get high all the time because there are consequences to getting high all the time. Especially if you're smoking concentrate and dabs, right? Your body's going to become dependent on it. No matter what it is, you know? Um even me, you know, I smoke CBD, I smoke CBG, but you think my body's going to be is going to be get used to it? Of course. Which is why I don't smoke all day every day. I only smoke on stream. You know, if I'm not smoking on stream, I don't smoke nearly as much. I just might go to my car and smoke. I might smoke a bowl, maybe a couple cigarettes, and that's it. I'm done. You know, uh, smoke CBD cigarettes, that is. But I hear people always say that about alcohol. I just wanted that not to be the excuse to be like, well, alcohol could be worse. Okay. You know what I mean? I could say the same thing if I... Uh, what would be uh, uh, the situation... If I drink alcohol, I could probably say, well, cocaine is worse. Doesn't mean I should drink alcohol. You know what I mean? So don't let that be an excuse for you to be like, well, I'm going to get high every day because it's not as bad as drinking. Eh. You know, still affecting your brain no matter what. You know, I've talked to a lot of people who, who stopped using TAC. And boy, I mean, it brought them to their knees. It really brought them to their knees, especially people who smoke today. Um, people who smoke flour, I haven't heard too much crazy, but people who smoke this tea, people who smoke these carts and these dabs, I mean, it is a living nightmare. And I'm going to tell a little bit of my story right now. You should be careful and not touch a car as you would with alcohol. I wouldn't touch a car if you were super high. You know, you still got to be smart. But here's my story with TAC, right? So, I smoked carts. I smoked carts and I smoked dabs. I didn't smoke flour until towards the end of my tenure. But I mean, I smoked dabs. And when I said I smoked dabs, I was going probably through a gram a day, something like that. And I was smoking carts. And I, when I said I was smoking carts, I didn't smoke them like uh, a couple puffs here, a couple puffs there. I was, I was literally on live stream. Y'all never saw this. But... I was live streaming and I would put the cart in one of my bongs and just, oh my gosh, I would hit it as hard as I could. And I didn't care. I was getting so high. I didn't even realize how high I was getting. And after about two years of doing that, I stopped smoking TAC. Bruh. I felt insane for, I can't even explain how bad I felt. Like I feel it every now and then I still get small, 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 small anxiety attacks, not panic attacks. Anxiety attacks are technically panic attacks if we want to get factual, but I'm just saying anxiety because I'm saying I got high anxiety, but not quite enough to a panic. I get those every now and then, but it was an absolute living nightmare. I mean, every day felt like it wasn't real. Every day I still felt high. Um, it took forever not to just feel high. I could not sleep. I would wake up and I would wake up in panic attacks. And some nights I would get the sweats. Some people get it worse than others, but some people get the sweats. I'm talking about puddle of sweat. I've only got it a few times, but I could not sleep, guys. Every time I tried to fall asleep, I would have a panic attack. Imagine this. Every time you try to go to sleep, you close your eyes and you wake up to a panic attack three or four times in the night and a panic attack comes with the fear of death. So imagine falling asleep and you wake up and you think you're going to die. Imagine that happening three, four times a night for weeks. You're super exhausted. You're always tired. You're afraid you're going to have a panic attack. You're paranoid. You're dealing with depersonalization, better known as DPR or derealization, right? You just free. I mean, in half the time, guys, it was so bad. I couldn't sleep in my house. I mean, I couldn't sleep in my own bed. It was so bad I couldn't sleep in my own bed. For about two months, I slept on my couch because my panic attacks were so bad. I, w I couldn't even, like, when I would have my days off, they were the worst days of my life. When I didn't go to work, I would sit on my couch for nine, ten hours. Nine to ten hours going to um, meetings. And I wouldn't move from my couch because anytime I got up, I would have a panic attack. You understand how much of a nightmare that is? In another part of my life, 
for before I could before I was sitting on the couch for that long, I couldn't even walk in my own house. Did y'all believe that? Y'all think I'm like, what? What are you talking about? No. Every day I got off work, I went to work at eight in the morning. I could not come back in my own house until eleven p.m. Because anytime I walked in my house, I'd have a panic attack. Because my anxiety would just go to the roof. It, I didn't even couldn't even explain it. I had to sit outside getting bit up by mosquitoes because I was too afraid to walk in my own house. I would walk in my house, grab some water, and walk right back out. And the only way I could fall asleep is I would have to watch some video until I just passed out. I'm not talking about I fell asleep. I mean, I was so exhausted, I eventually passed out from all the panic attacks I was having. So that's why I'm so adamant when I tell you guys, please, if you're going to smoke TAC, cool. Do whatever you want to do. It is it's nothing to me, but it would be it I would I would not it would not be right for me not to warn you that if you want to smoke TAC from sun up to sundown and you're only smoking it for recreational purposes, which means you're smoking it pretty much for fun, I I have a responsibility to tell you that may end badly for you. I met a lot of people it, it ended bad for them. Some people they wanted to take their own lives. I wanted to take my life. When I got off TAC, that's how insane I felt. And y'all may think I'm being hyperbolic. I'm not even kidding. That's how bad my mind was messed up from smoking so many carts. And every single day from sunup to sundown. Because you know why? The stoner community. I like the people in the stoner community. But there's some people in the stoner community that can be really toxic. They'll tell you to smoke every second of every day. And then you're going to hear this bold face lie, which is, I can smoke weed and be productive. No, Cocoa Puff. You smoke weed because you you need to smoke it just to be productive. No, you're not smoking it in being productive. You're smoking just to freaking live. I know that life. Because you'll see those same stoners say, you smoke weed for fun. I smoke weed so I can do the laundry. Exactly. You're smoking it just to be able to do the laundry. You have now gone from smoking for fun to smoking out of necessity. You can't go a second without weed now. You have to wake and bake. You have to smoke so you can eat food. You have to smoke so you can sleep. It becomes every part of you. And the stoner community will have you believe that that's not addictive behavior. What other thing in the world do you know that if you used it from sun up to sundown and said, I can't live without it, does that not sound like an addiction? I don't know anything else that you could do that. Because if somebody who drinks alcohol said the same thing, alcoholic. Somebody who does cocaine, crackhead. Somebody who does meth, meth head. Come on, man. So if you're smoking weed from sun up to sundown because you now you can't live without it, meaning you were smoking it for fun now, and now you can barely sleep without it, that's a problem. Now, obviously, there's different situations for people who use it for pain, people who use it for PST, PTSD and inflammation. I understand all those medical benefits. That's why I'm talking about recreational. Be careful when you smoke with that TAC, that Delta 9, okay? That tetrahydrocannabinol, okay? Be careful. If you smoke it in high concentrations, your brain will start to become dependent. And if you try to stop... Go listen to the stories. Just go look it up. In fact, there's meetings all over the world for people who are um, quitting marijuana. There's meetings. I've been to them. There's meetings all day, 24 hours a day. There's a meeting every hour on the hour for people who are uh, who stop smoking marijuana and are telling their stories. I'm talking about every hour, pretty much. You think that's just coincidence? I don't. They have a whole convention. A whole convention where tons of people show up to talk about how marijuana them effed them up and how they tried to quit. And here they are today clean. So just be careful. 